my name's Jesse, and today we're going to be catching native brook trout with cheeseburgers. <laughs> Welcome to the great state of Maine, everybody. Now today we are in the Baxter region, home to the largest mountain in Maine, Mount Katahdin. Overlooking hundreds of pristine bodies of water and some not so much, but we're not gonna talk about that today. And a lot of these bodies of waters are riddled with jewels. So maybe not literally, but to fishermen, they are just as valuable. And of course, I am talking about the brook trout. Known for their vibrant colors, many people flock to Maine in the fall for their chance to catch a trophy brook trout. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today, except I'm not gonna be doing it like everyone else. No, now today we are gonna be targeting Maine native brook trout with a cheeseburger. You heard that correctly a cheeseburger. Now, I originally tied up this pattern as a joke when a fisherman would ask me, hey, what are the fish biting on today? Or what did you catch that fish on? I would hand them this with nothing else said. I got a kick out of it. And then over time, I kind of got to thinking, there's no way I couldn't catch a brook trout on this. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Now, if you think this is gonna work, go and smash that like button. And if you think this perfectly logical idea is not gonna work, go in the comments below and let me know why. And I will tell you why I think this will work. All right, so we have our cheeseburger rigged up and ready to go. And let me tell you guys why I think this is gonna work. Let me show you something. So it's mid-fall and that is prime terrestrial season. And so what that means is there's gonna be things like grasshoppers, crickets, and they're all gonna be falling into the water. And this bug represents the exact reason why this is gonna work today. When a bug like this hits the water, it doesn't just land delicately, it slaps the water. And when I'm casting, that's exactly what I'm trying to mimic. I'm gonna be driving that fly into the water so it slaps the surface. So what I hope to accomplish is to have the trout have an instinctual reaction. So that is what we're depending on, and I truly believe that it's gonna work. No way. Now I probably missed them because we're, chances are, we're gonna be getting small brook trout. Small brook trout can be pretty darn aggressive and it was part of the reason why I assumed this would work. But that is encouraging. We're probably gonna be able to get one today. I almost guarantee it. Oh, no, you missed completely missed. Two, another straight miss. This is a big bug for these little guys. Oh, come on. This is definitely gonna happen though. Look at all those strikes. This is it, ready? Nah. Why? Got him. Got him. <laughs> there it is. That is a brook trout with a cheeseburger hanging out of its mouth. <laughs> Bet you didn't think you were gonna see that today. I can't believe it. I didn't know it'd actually work, uh, but it actually worked well. We had a lot of strikes, but let's let this guy go. There he is. Off he goes. That was incredible. I mean, we got what? five, six chances at different fish there. I would say this is almost a very practical strategy after how many bites I got there. And I know what you're thinking, where can I get one of those cheeseburgers for myself? <laughs> if you want some, you can go to my website. It's gonna be right here, www.mainly-outdoors.com. And on there, you're gonna find a custom fly order form. 
If you fill that out, let me know that you want a cheeseburger. I'll hook you up with one. Challenge complete. Now that was the most fun I've had fly fishing in quite some time. If you want to see another one like it, you can click that video right here. I'm going to go tie on some real flies and I will catch you guys in the next adventure. Thank you.